Hi, I'm Nikki from MyEFavors.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make a balloon dance floor. Things you are going to need. Four Conwin base plates or whatever base plates that you have. It should be fine as long as you weigh them with the 25 pound weights which you're going to need four of those along with four screws if you're going to use the Conwin base plates. I always purchase the ones with the red tips. Using these 25 pound weights are very important. It keeps uh, the balloon dance floor from trying to pull within the center. Uh, it keeps it uh, from trying to lift up and you really don't want that. So using, I use in particular 25 pound weights uh, you may can find yourself using something less, but definitely use some type of weight to help keep your balloon dance floor down. When using the Conwin base plates and the screws that fit those base plates, I find myself using having to search for these con half inch Conwin poles using the ones with the purple labels because me purchasing the conduit poles at Home Depot or Lowe's for some reason the company that makes those poles doesn't fit over the screws so if you're using the conduit blade base plates uh, the purple labeled conduit poles will work better for, for you um, but if you're using another type of base plate setup whatever poles works best for you would be okay but this is in particular for the Conwin base plates. Four pieces of black table covers to cover your poles and weights. A pair of scissors, uh, duct tape or you can use packaging tape, a 50 pound uh, test clear fishing line and also a pipe cutter. It's not shown in this photo. 144 plus pre-inflated balloons 9 inch size and I say plus just in case any of the balloons that you're working with within your 144 pop you can always have replacements. I've decided to use red, black and zebra for this balloon dance floor because I'm going with a red, black, white zebra design Valentine's themed dance floor. Four red heart 36 inch mylar balloons if you're deciding to do the Valentine theme or you can use whatever topper you would like. You don't even necessarily have to use a topper or whatever uh, the topper that you find to fit your uh, balloon dance floor theme would be fine. You're also going to use, uh, you're also going to need at least four to eight 260 balloons for tying your large topper onto your columns and I'll show you how to do that within this video. Helium to allow your balloons to float. At least 60 pieces of pre-cut curling ribbon. And if you would like to add lights to your balloon dance floor, I suggest uh, getting 16 balloon lights, 24 the floral lights, and also at least 50 uh, glue dots or balloon dots or whichever you have. Keep in mind that this, the getting the lights are optional. If you're having a low lit or no light uh, balloon uh, party theme, then the lights would be great to add uh, into your balloon dance floor. Let's start by uh, selecting the area we're going to have our balloon dance floor. Here I'm going to build a 12 by 12 dance floor. So I spread my base plates 12 feet apart from each other within that square box uh, area. Let's start off by measuring all our four poles. Uh, these poles are gonna, I'm measuring to cut at six feet. Now adjust and cut your poles using your pipe cutter. These particular pipe cutters I purchased from Lowe's. It has a very easy grip and it's easy for me to work with. I have purchased others 
but I found using these were the best ones yet. To gather the black plastic squares needed for your dance floor, you should be able to use only one package of a plastic table cover by cutting it in half the long way. And then once you cut it in half, cut one of your halves in halves. And then you want to also cut the other half in half, which should give you your four pieces. Try not to unravel when you're taking out the package because the line should guide you to kind of make them even and all the same sizes. Now assemble your base plates and pole by starting off with putting down your plastic table cover, then your base plate over the table cover or on top of the table cover, your 25 pound weight your screw make sure that it's screwed in all the way and then your pole once you have followed these steps you can now start adjusting your table cover over your base plates and weights because you do not want this to be seen uh, on the ground where your dance floor is going to be You will follow this step for the other remaining three base plates and poles. If for some reason your pole is unable to fit over the screw, you can always duct tape them two together. So just place your pole next to your screw and duct tape it. This will not change the look or effect at all of, for your balloon dance floor column. For this pattern, I'm going to use uh, tie two black balloons together to make a duplet and one red and one zebra to make a duplet all blown up to nine inches and I'm going to tie them within each other to make a quad and I will be doing this for all of the uh, remaining balloons. When placing these balloons on the column, I'm going to slide the red and black balloon in between the pole and I'm going to either flip the balloons black over red or red over black as long as I'm having two black balloons on the opposite of each other and the red and zebra print on the opposite of each other and make sure that you continue to follow your pattern then that way everything will look uniformed Each column is going to take a total of nine quads. Only use uh, eight quads at the beginning. Your, ni your ninth quad will be placed on right at the very end and I'll show you why. Repeat this step for all four columns. When adding your fishing line, you want to take your fishing line 
and wrap it around the pole and also tie it. To make it more secure, you would add a piece of the duct tape so that the line doesn't slide, move, or come off. Without cutting your fishing line, you want to go ahead and walk it down to the next column. Cutting of the fishing line will be done last at the first column that we originally started with. If it looks like I'm a little frustrated or angry in this video, that's because I am. Thanks to my son AJ who's always doing extra stuff, making noise, dancing, can't be still while I'm trying to conduct business. But that's AJ and you will for sure hear and see him later on within this video, so just ignore him. Once you're at the first, back at the first column you started right. with, oh. it would be safe now to go ahead and cut the fishing line from the spool, add tape, and then at the very tip of the column, matter of fact for all four of your columns, add one single balloon. Uninflated balloon because this will prevent any of your other quads from being popped by the sharp edges at the tip of the uh, half inch pole. When applying your fishing line to your balloon dance floor, it is best that the fishing line is hanging low to the ground. That way it will give you a uh, room to adjust your arch on the balloon dance floor if needed. It's always good to have too much balloon, uh, too much fishing line than not enough fishing line on your dance floor. So it's okay to allow the fishing line to hang low um, while uh, going from columns to column. Be sure to add one single uh, helium inflated balloon on all four sides of your uh, balloon dance floor. You would not want anyone to attempt to go into the center of your balloon dance floor uh, when the fishing line is hanging low to the ground. When applying your balloon lights inside your balloon, keep the string attached to the light. This is a safety issue. It will keep the light from acting as a missile if your balloon happens to pop. Just stretch over the balloon and apply the light inside. Like I say, do not detach the string from the balloon. When your balloon is filled with helium, you want to tie the string into the balloon as well. So the string will still be attached to the balloon and then just later cut the string from hanging uh, from the balloon because now it's just excess weight onto the balloon. Once you have cut off the excess string, you can go ahead and tie your uh, curling ribbon onto your balloon and then hang it onto your fishing line on your dance floor. When tying your balloon onto the fishing line, make sure that you're tying the, the string and to the line as well. I normally tie it around two times to make sure that the balloon doesn't slide back and forth once it's there. When placing the balloons on the arch, just barely let each balloon touch. 
uh, balloons. If the balloons are too close together, they can begin to jumble up and mess up the form of the arch. Use this method for all four sides of your columns. I have decided to use a pattern of black, zebra, red, white, black, zebra, red, white, and so on. Each zebra balloon has a light inside. Be sure to turn on your light prior to inflating the balloon. Uh, it's very difficult to try to turn the lights on once the balloon is inflated. To adjust the arch on your balloon dance floor, just intertwine the extra fishing line within the column and you want to do this with all four sides. Make sure that all four sides are the same in height. Once you have finished for forming your uh, balloon arch on all four sides, it is now safe to add your ninth quad balloons to the top. Adding your balloon topper and this demonstration I have decided to use two 260 balloons because of the size of the balloon. Tie both 260 together in the middle and then tie the 260 balloons on the tail of your balloon topper. Intertwine the tails of the 260 balloons and the balloons within the balloons on the column. Repeat this step for the remaining three columns. To add lights to the balloon columns, I use the floral lights, which are reusable lights. Put two glue dots on the back of the light and stick the light onto the pole wherever you can find an opening or a gap in the front. You should be able to apply at least four floral lights to the front and four floral lights to the back to give your column a real uh, lighted effect. What is a party without balloons? Hi, once again, I'm Nikki from MyFavors.com and I hope I was able to assist you on um, getting an idea on designing a balloon dance floor. Don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook. Some of the supplies used in this demonstration can be purchased on our website at myefavors.com. Thank you again for watching.